All right, beep, let's do this. First thing first, the name, L-U-I. Secondly, the game. It is the game of bodybuilding. Thirdly, thirdly, specifically, aesthetics. Bro, 80s, baby, please. Bob Paris was the very milestone of that era. Absolutely underrated, underclassed for so uh, many reasons. But he was an absolute sight uh, to be uh, saluted. Look, front double biceps, uh, baby, please. Oops, this is Rich Piana in the same, uh, basically, era, I think. This is, was, no, not the same era. This is the 90s, baby, please. Actually, before the tattoos era. Absolutely salute this uh, belly peak right here. But let's go back to uh, Bob uh, uh, Paris. As I said, he was the very representative of what aesthetics came. He basically surfed on what the 70s were. I mean, he brought back whatever legacy was left by the Arnold, the Serge Nubre, and, and so on and so forth. He was an absolute sight uh, to be saluted. Granted, as I said, he was underrated uh, in the Lee Haney era, but nowadays we don't see these guys in bodybuilding, in all out bodybuilding for obvious reasons because of 1993 when Dorian Yates came in uh, with that vitamin G and he was absolutely outclassing everybody in the mass department. Everybody followed. We had Paul, uh, Jurassic Paul, the lad. We have Nasser, El Sambari, Marcus Rule, Ronnie Coleman, and so on and so forth. There's no way in hell to see these guys back in mainstream uh, bodybuilding. However, however, we have this guy here who dares actually to stay with the winners of an all-out bodybuilding show. This guy is Arash Rahba, right? So this, my dear friend, is the pretty much right now the top dog, uh, the, the very first guy in the new classic physique division uh next to uh, guy sisterino who won the 212 uh, category in the new york pro and of course uh, the open uh, winner dexter the blade jackson he dares to do a crab most muscular pose uh next to them now granted in the mass department He's not in the same league, but then again, he is not being dwarfed, right? I mean, out angling, granted, but then again, let's take a look at him real quick. This guy, if he goes back to the 80s, baby, please, he will be rolling with these guys. I guarantee you he'll be next to the Lee Labrada of this world, Richard Gaspari, Bob Paris, Lee Haney, and so on. As a matter of fact, he is more advanced than them uh, when it comes to the conditioning uh, department. I mean, cuts everywhere if take a look at the back of this guy we did not see this type of cuts separation between the glutes and the hemis maybe please back in the 80s bro you know what i'm saying so he is absolutely conditioned out of his mind uh, this guy is rolling under the real technician namely uh chris asito who is also training or rather the guru of big rammy can you imagine if he brings big rammy to a condition resembling this Big Remy never was this condition. If he was, trust me, he would have been doing battle versus Phil Heath for the top uh, position. Let's take a look at this uh, play of, 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 of his abs real quick. Move around. Move around. Proper. Pro -pro probably the craziest abs in that division. Vacuum all day and every day. So uh, this is him, uh, right? Uh, and he is the new face of that division. It's kind of a... A sweet spot because let's be honest physique was not that excited it's still not excited with all due respect i personally don't even know the very metrics of judging physique guys i mean aware me guys i don't know how they judge them because these guys don't even pose they come there with their hand on basically or with that with a hand on on the waist and they tell you okay this guy is number one and sadiq is number two and so on and so forth I don't know how uh, they're being judged. Talking about Sadiq Hadzovic, he is moving up to this uh, division. It is limited by height and also weight. So there is a kind of a ratio. You cannot be heavier than a certain uh, weight if you are this tall and so on and, and so forth. So again, it is the very sweet spot that golden era lovers will like. And we're already hearing some guys, bro, uh, they're too small, he's too small, not massive. I'm sorry, guys. If you still like the mass fauna, we still have the big Grammy, the Dexter Jackson, Kai Green, Phil Heath, uh, Dennis Wolf of this world. So go ahead and watch basically the, the all-out bodybuilding. We all love that. It is an extreme, basically, stretch of human physique. It's all good. 
right? But some of us and some of you guys will still admire uh, aesthetic. And aesthetic will reside uh, nowadays uh, mostly in this new uh, uh, category. This guy is bigger by ratio than Lila Brada of back in the day, bigger by ratio uh, than uh, Bob Paris of back in the day. So uh, you gotta know that. I mean, if this guy goes back in that era, he will be pretty, pretty much reigning uh, supreme, mainly because of the condition we, which we did not see uh, uh, back then. So this is what's up. It is a guy to be uh, looked for. Uh, he is Persian for the record, just like uh, the late uh, Alhamdulillah Abuspur, who passed away, as you guys know. But this is the new representative and, you know, the cuts, uh, the proportions, uh, the symmetry is rather more admirable in, in this uh, category. Right now, he has pretty much about 27,000 followers. Check this out in September when Olympia will come. In my reckoning, this category will surpass physique, right? And physique not will die out, but it will be rather more popular. Uh, this category is pretty much the sweet spot because they're allowed to pose. So they can do like uh, at least five poses and then uh, a showdown, uh, which you cannot see in uh, in physique. So that's what's up. Absolute shoot out to Mr. Uh, Arash. His games are absolutely uh, loyal. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you fans will roll for this classic physique. The competition will be, uh, uh, I mean, definitely swift. A lot of guys are gunning for this. I made videos about them, uh, but right now he is the top dog. So to whatever you are, don't forget to like the video and tell me what you guys think about this new uh, category.